I bet you're all too familiar with this scenario. You're trying to schedule a meeting with a colleague and this email gets sent. Could you send me your availability for next week when we can meet and discuss? And then it starts. The emails go backwards and forwards and back again as you try and sort out a suitable time for you both to meet. Hi guys. Fancy game of tennis. Mixed on this. Well, this super quick Tuesday tech tip is going to sort you right out. Instead of going backwards and forwards with possible dates, you can insert your calendar directly into your email message so that your recipient can see when you're free right from inside the email. So we create a new email and then head over to insert on the menu bar at the top and choose calendar. You can set the date range for your calendar from the drop down menu. You can show today, the next seven days or even specific dates. We'll choose the next seven days and then you can choose what information you want the recipient to see. So we've got availability only. We can have limited details where we share the availability and the subject of the calendar items in our schedule and you have full details where the recipient can see everything in your calendar. I'm going to choose availability only. I'm also only going to show the times that I'm available within my working hours and we click OK. And in just a second we've got the next seven days of our calendar inserted into the body of our email and if we click send we can head over to our recipient's email to see what it looks like from their end. And there you go. Our availability for the next week is right there in the email for them to choose a suitable time. Easy. If you found value in today's video, then please give it a like below. And if you're one of the 98% of people not subscribed yet, then please do that today to help me grow the channel. If you found value, if you found value in this video, if you found value in this video, please give it a like down below. And if you're one of the 98% If you found value in this video, then please give it a like below. If you found value in this video, then please give it a like below. Now, Mark. If you